Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Joe Hindi, the Android Authority App Guy, and it's about that time of month to round up the best new Android apps from the last month. If you want to check out any of these apps for yourself, you can find those links in the video description below. Adobe released not one, but three new applications in the month of November. The first was Photoshop Fix. This application allows you to retouch photos and it also comes with some restoration features. The second was Adobe Photoshop Sketch. As the name implies, this application gives you a variety of tools to sketch and create original pieces of artwork that can then be ported to Adobe's desktop apps. The last one is Adobe Comp CC. This one allows you to design wireframes using images, text, shapes, and fonts. They're all free to download, but you'll need an Adobe Creative Cloud subscription to use all of the features. Android Auto was released to the world this last month. It was out previously, but only for a few devices, whereas this release is pretty much for everybody. It integrates Android Auto directly into your device, so you don't need a smart car in order to use it. You'll be able to do a basic set of tasks, including checking and sending messages, navigation, listening to music and playlists, and a whole lot more. It still needs quite a bit of work because it's not that great just yet. That said, it is free, and we expect the platform to get better sooner rather than later. Auto Tools is a no root extension for Tasker. It allows you to easily create some stuff in Tasker that would otherwise be a little more tedious or difficult. You can have it create toasts, badges, time calculations, and even gestures. Auto Tools also has support for data processing, Chrome custom tabs, a flashlight, and a lot more. You can try the application out for free for 30 days. After that, you can buy the application for $2.99. Brave Browser has actually been out for a long time. However, it was re-rebranded as Linkbubble and a new Brave Browser was released instead. This browser comes with built-in ad block as well as a range of security features and battery optimizations to help keep things running smoothly. Along with that, it supports the usual range of features, including private tabs, bookmarks, history, and others. It's a fairly decent little browser if you're in the market for a new one. Fingerprint Gestures is a fun little customization app. It allows you to use your fingerprint sensor as sort of a trackpad. You'll be able to assign gestures along with various tap patterns to perform various tasks. For instance, you can have it show your notifications if you swipe down. It seems to work well for the most part, although some devices seem to have better luck than others. It's a free download so you can see if it works for you. You'll need to have a device running Android 6.0 Marshmallow at the very least. Learn How to Draw is a simply named application that, to the surprise of no one, helps teach you how to draw. It features lessons for beginners, intermediates, and even some advanced lessons if you already know a little bit about drawing. The tutorials were created by Will Sliney, who is a well-known comic book artist, and there are hundreds of tutorials to go through. The application is reasonably priced, and you can try it out for free before dropping the 99 cents to get the full version. Microsoft Selfie is a simple camera application that takes selfies. It features a very simple interface that allows you to get in, take your selfie, and then send it where it needs to go. It has an editing tool that lets you move a slider back and forth. According to Microsoft, the slider is backed by technology that takes into account things like age, skin tone, gender, lighting, and other variables. It works pretty well if you need something simple. Photoscan is an application by Google that helps you port your actual photographs into your device. Basically, it's a scanner application that helps you scan your photographs. It has a tool that lets you outline the photo so you can easily remove the things like the frame or any background that you may get. Once it's digital, you can back it up or post it to social media if you want to. It takes a moment to get used to, but otherwise, it's a simple app to use. It also works pretty well. Pulse is an SMS application that also has cross-platform support. On its own, on a single device, it functions like a simple SMS app. However, you can install it on your computer, tablet, and other devices and sync your SMS between all of them. You can pay a recurring monthly subscription for multiple device supports, or you can buy a lifetime license for $10.99 and not have to worry about it. It works pretty well, although there are some bugs, as you'd expect from a newer application, it's definitely worth a shot. Snipback is a voice recording application with some unique features. It gets the basics right and you can record your voice, share or back up that recording, and recordings are listed by session for easy organization. However, the application also includes background noise reduction and the ability to record audio before the app starts running. It runs as a service in the background and you can actually recover the last 30 seconds of audio even if you're not recording. It works well enough, although running it as a constant service may not always be the best idea. And that about does it for this one, folks. If you want to keep watching, we have our Android Apps Weekly Show linked up there on the screen, which you can check out every Sunday to get the latest Android apps and games news and releases. If you want to check out any of these apps, again, those links are in the video description below, and keep it tuned to Android Authority because we are your source for all things Android. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a wonderful day.